Hey plant friends, welcome back to my channel, Planty Princess 92 My name is Ashley, and today I am going to be sharing with you an update on how my imported plants from Thailand are doing. I am really excited to share with you how well these plants are doing. They are right behind me in my IKEA cabinet. I keep them in there where the humidity is up, the temperature is up, and they can really get a lot of bright and direct light. They are also right in front of an east facing window. So during this growing season, they will get a lot of natural sunlight too. Now, um, these plants are growing really well because it is the start of spring. It's definitely the start of the growing season, but also they were in very good condition when they got delivered. When they arrived to my house, they were really great cuttings and even though they weren't rooted the best, they were just so healthy that it didn't take them long to acclimate. So without any further ado, let's check these plants out. I can't wait to show you how these Hoyas are doing. Okay, so here they are in my Ikea cabinet. As you see, they are right on the second shelf and they are enclosed. The current temperature is 79 degrees. The current humidity is 37%. It is a little lower because I just had it open, checking them out, checking on them, seeing how they were doing, and just admiring their beauty. Normally, the humidity gets to around 60, 65%. I like to keep it a little more moist in there. So, real quick before we get started, I just wanna show you my newest accessory to my Ikea cabinet, which are these cup trays. The cups are attached. They do not um, remove from there, which is, I think the one thing that kind of stinks a little bit because to clean it out or to add new stuff, you can't really just take a cup and move it. You have to like take the whole rack, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's very lightweight and I really do like it. I got two of them and I got them on Amazon. So I just thought they were really neat. They're probably about a two inch diameter all the way around and it's a really great size for like propagations and stuff like that. Anyways, back to the Hoyas. You can definitely tell there's a lot of new growth. These plants have literally acclimated so quickly and just got a growth spurt. It's like so amazing. I'm so happy and I love to watch my plants grow. So we'll start right here in the front with the Hoya Athrena. So gorgeous this is a new leaf and this is a new leaf and then it also has a growth point that's going to start com coming up right there these two leaves were already on it when I got it so you can tell obviously that these are the newest because they're not hardened off yet but look at the venations and it even has like a little speckling to it it's so beautiful it's just so green so vibrant so lively I'm really digging this Hoya Next, we have one of my Macrophylla pot of golds. You can definitely see that there is a little growth point happening in there. It's so cute, really little yet, but definitely starting to grow. So that's a plus. I'll bounce you right over here to the other one. So you can also see that one as well. The growth point is right here on this leaf. So no new leaves for these ones yet, but they definitely do have growth points that have grown out. And then also I have the third one that was the least amount rooted, I think. So I had it up here in sphagnum. This one does have a good growth point coming out right here. And then also a leaf right here. You can see this leaf is on its way out. It's definitely going to be saying goodbye in the next couple weeks I left it on there just to kind of soak up as much sun as it still possibly could but it did the job because there's new growth point a new baby little leaf and I'm so excited to see what that looks like as it opens up so we'll go back down here we have the Hoya Da Nang Vietnam which is also known as the Haniensis if I said that correctly and this one actually got a couple growth points so we have this long one right here that has a single leaf coming in down here which is so adorable I love how it's kind of like outlined with almost like a dark 
I don't know if it's like a brown or a red or even like a black, but it definitely has like a little outline around the edges, which is so cute. And then I got this pretty long tendril actually with two more leaves coming in on that. And then besides that, down here we have another growth point that has two leaves coming in on it. So this one is really just kicking it. It is loving life. We'll move on to one of my favorites that I was so excited to get, which is the Hoya Rosita. I really like this one because, as I mentioned in the unboxing, I really love the dark edging around the leaves. And the more light you get for this plant, or the more light this plant receives, the more pronounced those edgings get. But it's getting definitely a couple leaves going on here, and also a growth point starting right here, which I thought was really neat. Um, this one took a little longer to start growing, so I wasn't sure if it was going to start growing anytime soon, but then boom, here we are, and she popped out two leaves and a growth point. Next we have the Hoya Jennifer. Those venations are just stunning. This was the original leaf that came on the plant, but then we have the new leaf right here which again with the venations are just so gorgeous they really are so this is the newest leaf it's not even hardened off yet and there is a tiny little growth point kind of starting like right at the tip of my finger it's not to the point where it's kind of like a tendril yet but there's definitely a little bump there and it is definitely getting ready to pop up and then last but not least, from this order, we have the Perec Teddy Bear with this large leaf, these stunning protruding venations, and then the second leaf over here. This one, unfortunately, is the only one that hasn't given me any new sign of growth. Definitely is hanging in there. Definitely is still very healthy, but no new growth points, no new leaves yet. I think it's kind of just focusing on rooting so we'll see maybe in the next couple weeks next couple days we'll have something kind of coming out of there but for now I'm pretty satisfied with how much these plants have grown and how fast they really did acclimate I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the plants how they acclimated after seeing them come through the mail from another country overseas if you didn't see that unboxing make sure you check that out so you can see how well these plants arrived the condition that they arrived in and check them out before you see how well they actually grew i know ordering overseas is a very scary process it's very time consuming and does take a while to get your order i've learned that you shouldn't order in the winter time when the months are really cold that prevents the shipping for in the colder months and that leaves your plants less prone to getting that cold damage. I've also learned not to order in the really hot months as well because then the plants are getting shipped, they're in the mail in a box with no light, all wrapped up and that can cause heat stress. I've ordered both times and didn't have very good, didn't have a very good experience during those times maybe that's just a coincidence but cold damage and heat stress definitely does make sense to me so i've learned to place my order at the end of winter that way by the time it's processed and by the time i receive it it's coming into spring so it's not too cold it's not too hot and that has seemed to work best for me also order at the end of summer that way you're getting your plants in fall before it's too cold but after the really hot months are out of the way thank you guys for joining me in another video i hope you enjoyed seeing how well these hoyas grew definitely check out the seller the website where i got these i will leave that in the link down below because i really had a lot of great orders from this company don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're interested in the content i provide and as always every plant's a princess bye